G'day guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel and I hope that you fellas are having a good day, dressing well and of course getting stuff done. All right guys, so it's gonna be a nice and quick one today. I'm gonna be going through my top 10 favorite go-to t-shirts that I personally find myself wearing all the time. A lot of you guys always comment in each video what t-shirt I'm wearing. So I'm gonna be going through all of these, showing you guys which are my favorite, where I got them from and the price that I paid for them. All right guys, so starting straight into it, this is a very nice fitted white t-shirt from Cos, and I paid 25 pounds for this. There's two kind of unique features to this t-shirt. One is the high neckline, which is the main reason I really mess with it. I do just love a nice tight high neckline. The second is that it's a very light, almost see-through material. I don't know if you look close enough, but you can probably see my mic. Uh, so it's a very nice breathable one, perfect for coming into spring and summer. All right guys, so staying on the white trend, this is my most expensive t-shirt that I do have. This is the Acne Studio one. Again, similar to the Cos, high neckline, has that printed Acne Studio. A very nice fitting t-shirt, absolutely love this. This is a lot more of a heavyweight material, but it is also quite stretchy. So the size, every time I wash it, it always just comes back to its natural size and I absolutely love it. Coming on to the third one guys, and this is kind of like my most oversized t-shirt that I do have. It is very oversized, but this is definitely a lot more of a summer vibe t-shirt. Now the material of this one, the reason I like it so much is it is that towel material. I got this from All Saints. It was on sale when I got it. Absolutely love it. And yeah, for me, this is my kind of more out there t-shirt because I do really like my t-shirts to be simple and played down. But with the stripes going across and the texture to this t-shirt, it just adds that little bit of detail that I absolutely love. So guys, coming on down, we are entering the realm of Cole Bloody Buxton. This dude is just breaking the bank on me because they keep putting out good pieces. I have three t-shirts from them. The next, this one and the next two are all Cole Buxton. But let's get into this one first. I paid 40 pounds for this. This is the Cole Buxton worker t-shirt. It's a lot more of a softer material. Really just sits on the body great for kind of like every day. Absolutely love this t-shirt. My favorite black t-shirt completely. It is that oversized fit, you guys. That'll be the common theme in pretty much the rest of this is just oversized. It's just what I like. Love to tucking it in. I love having a little bit of that bagginess. It's kind of just my style and personality that I really mess with. But yeah, very simple, cannot go wrong with a nice black shirt, especially when you tuck this in to some black smart pants, add some Doc Martens, perfect, you're good to go. Again guys, Cole Buxton, this is their warm up t-shirt. You guys know I did a full review on this. This is the first top I bought from them, 60 pounds. Still love it to this day. I love, this is the slate colorway. It is a great fit. It is a nice kind of boxy fit. The material is a lot more of that heavy weight and nice and sturdy. I love how simple this one is yet, but because of the way they designed their t-shirt, gives it that nice kind of vintage feel. So it's a great way to add a little bit of texture to a very simple outfit. And yeah, it's a good colorway. The last of the Cold Buxton one, same warm up t shirt. This isn't, I can't remember the colorway, but I call it the concrete one, if that's how I had to do it. Exact same as the other t shirt, nice heavyweight, and yeah, just I, honestly, guys, the Cold Buxton stuff, like I'm not just like saying it for the sake of it, like I mess with their stuff, and anytime they drop a new t shirt, I'm most likely gonna cop it because this is the type of stuff that's always gonna be in my wardrobe. As long as my style stays this way, I'll always mess with their stuff. So this next one is by Val Christopher. Um, I think that was it. 100 pounds, it is quite pricey, but it is so unique. And there's a lot that goes into it. So obviously it's got a bit more of that oversized fit to it. Man, I've actually been thinking about just doing a full video based on this t-shirt because in this little snippet that I've got, it's not enough time. But what I do really love about this t-shirt is it's the type of one that I will wear when I wanna just make a bit more of a statement, when I want a little bit more of a unique standout uh, t-shirt. But the reason why this is my top 10 is because it's still a very subtle t-shirt, yet it has its own amazing uniqueness to it. Obviously, there's, there's so much going on. I kinda just wanna do a whole video on this, but yeah, I love it. So for a lot of you OGs, you will remember this t-shirt. It is definitely one of my go-tos, yet because we've been in winter, I just don't go for brighter colors. But coming into spring and summer, you're gonna see this one a lot more. This is my small Supreme box logo t-shirt. This is when I wanna just, you know when I'm, I wanna just be a little bit of a hype beast for a day. I wanna just be a Supreme head. You know, I just wanna be in that game. Very subtle, uh, very still minimal, definitely my style. Definitely great balance between minimal 
and you're still in that kind of like streetwear scene. All right, guys, on to the second to last one. And this is my burnt orange t-shirt. Again, oversized boxy. And here you may have seen some expensive t-shirts, but this t-shirt was 10 pounds from Zara. Absolutely love it. Love the fit of it. Uh, love the colorway of it. Perfect when you come into autumn. Perfect when you're in spring, summer, winter, whenever. I love it, guys. Size large, fits really nicely, colors great. It's just a really nice way to add color to your outfit, but without being too bold. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, we started with a fitting t-shirt, so we're gonna end with a fitting t-shirt as well. It's not always about the oversized fits. This is the Days March one. You guys would have seen this recently. Again, when I add color to my outfits, I like it to be in a more desaturated way. Love the fit of it. Love the cotton, love the heavyweight material of this, and it's just a really good vibe for about 30 pounds. And there we have it, guys. Those are my top 10 favorite go-to t-shirts that I just always find myself going to. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what is your favorite go-to t-shirt and where is it from? Other than that, guys, I will try and link all of these t-shirts in the description box down below. And if you like today's video, make sure you thumbs it up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, go watch another video. And if you want to keep up with me on the daily, you can do this by following my Instagram, which is at I'm Daniel Simmons. Sweet as guys, I'll let you get back to doing you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep dressing well and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace. Oh, my, baby, my baby. Jump